The most convenient way to work with the presentations of the course and to follow the content, it might be to import the GitHub repository that I created for the course into our studio and to your file system. So essentially to download it. And in this video, I would like to show you a quite convenient way to import a GitHub repository into R and to work with that. It's not strictly necessary that you register at GitHub for this because it's freely available and open, the repository I created, so you don't need an account at GitHub. It still might be interesting for you to have one, but it's not strictly necessary for doing the following. At first, you have to locate the um, repository of the course, and the most easiest way for doing that is to browse currently onto my um, GitHub repository page. And I would like to show you how this is done. So at first we have to open a browser and there we might like to type github.com slash Martin Hints, which is my page at GitHub. And there you find the link to repositories. And this is where you want to go. And you might like to click here on Smarter One, which is the repository for our statistical methods and archaeological data analysis course. And there you are. So this is the structure I created. And when you look into the individual sessions, for example, you can find here on the one hand an RMD file from which the presentations are rendered, the presentations as HTML files too, small readme, which should be more full soon, and several data that are used within the presentation and also within the course um, to work with real or fake data and to learn some, some R commands. And this is the most important part probably. You want to have this on your computer, otherwise you will not be able to access the data. Um, it's also probably nice to copy paste stuff from the RMD file and to look into the HTML file with your browser on your local computer. To do so, there are several options. I go back to parent directory. I could also have clicked here to get to the root directory of the project. And you can already see here a nice green button that says clone or download. And we could click that and you can see here download a zip file. That's not what we will do now, but that would be one option then. Everything what's in the repository is uh, zipped and available as one file and you download this one file. You can extract that on your computer and then have the whole um, structure also on your local machine. But there is another way of doing that and that's using Git for checking out the project and import that into our studio. And that's what we are, will do now. For this, at first we go back to our studio and start a new project. For doing so, we click on File and New Project here. And I had our studio running before, so that's why I was asked that. And you have three options here to get a new project. Either you start from a new directory or you associate an existing directory with the project you want to create. These both options we will not use now. That's when you start something from scratch. But we would rather like to check out a project from a version control repository, which is, for example, GitHub. When we click that link. We have to decide if we want to use Git or Subversion. They are essentially software is doing more or less the same, but we use GitHub and as the name indicates, GitHub is uh, working with Git. So we click here. And now you can see you need to set up a directory or you have to specify a directory where your projects should be stored. And then you have here the repository URL 
that you have to paste in and we need this we could either just type that or use the button on the github website to copy that into um, this this field here so we go back to github and again the green button here and you can see here this is the repository url this is actually the same like here above more or less Oops. so i can just highlight that by clicking on that and press um, the copy uh, shortcut or i use this handy little guy here click on that and with that the url is in my on my clipboard and then i can switch back to our studio and paste this url in here you can see here is a little ending uh, <coughs> little extension dot jit which indicates that you want to access the jit repository on that server and automatically a name is specified here for your project um, directory name i will change that because i have already downloaded the original one i just indicate that it should be two on your computer this should not be necessary but you can name the project directory whatever you like then you click on create project and you can see that <coughs> a lot of stuff is downloaded and our studio starts with uh, in your new and freshly downloaded uh, repository copy you can see that all the structure is now here available on your local machine and you can also click on the individual data uh, in individual folders see the content and you can either open one of the IMD files or click here and open the uh, presentation in the web browser and if I go back here you can see here the presentation is rendered nicely and now you can copy and paste stuff into our studio if necessary so this is essentially it um, you could also later on use this connection to um, edit stuff in the uh, uh, github repository in your, your local folder and sync that back on the github server we will not use that i think we will not use that in this course um, but i still might explain how this is done in another video for now it's just enough that we have downloaded the course data the course structure and that we can access that now from the local machine here okay that was it for today thank you very much for your attention and see you next time